Ah, here we go. How's everybody doing? It's Greg here from Armchair Gaming, the great Canadian aristocrat. I gotta call myself that because I can't use the other term. Thought today I would go through and do a little bit of farming. Turn my flashlight on here. Show you guys my morning routine, but first, we gotta go to sleep. So we are gonna sleep for, eh, let's go for nine hours. Because we're city folk. We like to sleep that nine hours. So, made some good money overnight. Made a couple grand. Got to wait for this. I'm playing on console, PS4 console, and I'm playing on uh, Seasons right now on the Welker. The Welker Farms map. Love this map. Wide open, flat land. Tons and tons of fields. Huge fields. If you're like me and you like to play with the big machines, you like the horsepower, this is the map for you. Give it a try. I'll give you guys a little bit of a, a look around my farm here. So the first equipment, I've got my nice little lizard pickup truck, red, my favorite color. Uh, it's a little dirty. I got a little bit of OCD, so. But uh, anyway, let's go get started today. Something I picked up just to have some fun with the other day is I wanted to go a little old school, and I grabbed an old school tractor. Not really an old school, but it's, it's kind of an old school design. So I think we're going to do our chores this morning with an old school design tractor. Oh, I got some fertilizer out here that I haven't put away yet. Uh, we'll deal with that and some herbicide. We will deal with that later. But one of my favorite buildings in the game is this one here. We might have to move that out of the way. I love the way these doors open and I like the sound it makes. Now that door's not opening. Of course. You know, we're trying to demo a video here. Let's uh, let's get the uh, forklift out first, and let's move that uh, let's move that um, herbicide out of the way first. So I switched back and forth between sprayers. I had a contract yesterday that required herbicide, so I had to unload some of the uh, what I had in the tank to go fill it. This might actually be fertilizer. Let's just give it a check here. Am I low enough? Nope. So deceptive. It's so hard. Oh, see, and then you go into the ground. It's not perfect. Not a perfect game, but yeah, so that's herbicide. So we'll put that away. It's literally 6%. Really? <laughs> it's just a tiny sip of herbicide in there. But uh, we're going to throw it. We're going to put it in here anyway. Because for some reason, I rarely need it in this game. And I always have trouble with this. I don't know if you guys have trouble with these forklifts as well. I'm trying to get the angle. I'm trying to get it lowered. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Let's go. Ugh. got a report I mean it looks the mod looks great and everything but it's just a little tricky here so let's see if we can level this out and back it out oh it's such a pain come on get rid of that map down there first so we can see what we're doing all right let's see here. all right right there that's it is it is it is it nope is it come on man <laughs> So frustrating! Alright, we're gonna try this. I'm just gonna go. Yo. You guys are literally watching me not not succeed at playing the game. Come on! Get the wheels on the ground. Alright. When you fail at something, you quit. Nobody ever taught you that? We're gonna quit. Screw it! We're going to go do our chores. We'll get to that later. <gasps> Look at how dirty this tank is. My OCD is kicking in. All right, we're going to move this. Look at the size of the bucket on this little tractor. Ah, uh, too big. Too big. But let's check the animals first. Let's see what's going on with them. Do I need to clean? No. They're 100% clean. I am not going to need the bucket to clean up after them, so we're going to put that down. And we're going to store it just off to the side a little bit here. We're not going to need to use that right now. This is the old uh, Massey Ferguson tractor that I was telling you guys about that I picked up. I just wanted to go old school. And yeah, so I'm going to 
I'm gonna kind of move around. <laughs> I'm not doing too well, am I? Trying to demo this, I end up looking like an idiot. Oh, it's 9.03, I've wasted three minutes so far of time. Come on! Everybody's got to get fed. Everybody's got to get watered. So, uh, we've got the water tank out. I only did that because it just happened to be there. What I normally do, I start with the food, the feed. Let's go feed the chickens. Let's go feed the oinkers. Let's go feed the pigs. So, I just kind of wanted to use this. We're going to move this track. This is normally the tractor I use, uh, the Puma. But uh, not today. Today we're going to go old school. So we're going to move the Puma out of the way. And we're going to go back. It's so cool. I love tracks. I just love the sound of it. It's such a cool, a cool looking machine and powerful. But I wanted to go old school today. I wanted to feel like a real old school farmer. And drive this old Massey Ferguson. And we're going to get the trailer. And we are going to load it with chicken feed. If it isn't already loaded. Uh, it's got some wheat in it. So, uh, no need to go fill it, no need to go to the silo. And we're going to go feed the chickens. Only five minutes late getting started on my morning. Wow, first thing I notice is how slow this thing moves. Hey, but it's a simulator and that's what we want. We want realism. We want realistic farming. That's why I'm armchair farming right now. Big shout out to the real farmers out there. You guys make it look easy. <laughs> no, but we do, the ones playing the video games. There's the rooster. That's got to be so annoying. So, that, well, that went quickly. That filled up quickly. Zoom out a little bit. Look at the size of this trailer compared to this small little tractor that I picked up. It really puts things into perspective when you use a smaller vehicle that uh, really cannot tow this. When you're, when you're used to driving it around with the other tractor, you take, it, you take for granted how big these things actually are and the scale of them. So that's my two chicken, uh, my two chicken farm. This is my big European chicken one. Uh, strictly for eggs, I'm playing seasons. So these chickens will do strictly eggs. Sadly, they don't produce a lot. I've got a full pen here and uh, I don't get a lot out of it, so. But we're up to date. We're full. It's fully clean and we're full of food. So is the other chicken coop. That one I use for meat. So if you look at these guys over here, I've got the Rhode Islands that I'm using for meat. It kind of gives you stats on each chicken. And uh, then the large chicken, the UK one, they're all white leghorns. I use these guys strictly for uh, eggs. They're mature. They're at 99% health and they're still not producing a lot of eggs for me i'm wondering if it has to do with the actual mod itself because that's a mod that's not this chicken coop over here uh that one comes with the game that's the smaller chicken coop and the other one is a mod all right i'm gonna pause it right here i think somebody's at my door <laughs> 